Hello everyone, welcome to scrapbook process video number 90. This layout is a stash layout, I suppose you could call it. There are two collections that I use like the majority of, but I am just using up stuff from my stash for the most part. But I'll talk about what um, those two collections are like as and when. Now this layout was one where, if you saw my latest scrapbook video number 89, I was talking about how I had this idea in my head and I just couldn't rest until I'd, I'd done it. You know, I couldn't create anything else. I had to just get that done and this was exactly the same I had this idea and I just had to get it done and the reason was is because I had a song in my head just you know when you've got an earworm and you can't stop singing it and as I was singing it to myself just around the house doing whatever I was doing it occurred to me that the, the main words of the song would actually make a great title for a scrapbook layout but then I was like I don't really have anything I could use because what I needed for this um title was pictures that were to do with traveling in style and i'm not exactly a traveler like i haven't been on a plane in years and i've only been on plane journeys three times in my entire life but then i remembered these pictures i had and that last year september 2017 we went to the isle of Wight. i've done some uh, journaling and stuff about that in the past that you may have seen and um but on the way back from the isle of wight my brother-in-law treated us on the ferry to sit in the signature lounge which is just you basically pay 10 pound or something along those lines and instead of sitting downstairs in the ferry you know when it's really busy and noisy and loud and just ah it's just it's right at the top of the ferry and it's just really nice and relaxed and quiet and there's like comfy sofas and complimentary hot drinks and pastries and stuff and it was just you know really nice for an hour just to sort of chill up there constantly drinking hot chocolate so i those are the pictures that i found to use they're not great pictures unfortunately like i didn't get any of like us the, the people's faces in there i just took a picture of the lounge itself and also the view from like the little sort of observation deck bit they have for that part of the ferry so um talking about the actual sort of what i'm doing it's about time um i'm using a mix here of carpe diem posh simple stories obviously old old line now and then also the cartabella let's cruise line so my main paper i'm using is from posh and hilariously it's called live simply i just thought that was beautifully ironic given what i was scrapbooking about um and then that bit up the side i've used there that is also from posh just from one of the cut apart sheets i thought the florals but the navy stripe was like nice and nautical enough and i've backed those the paper i'm using to back my strips is um it's that paper there you can see the my mind's eye one um i don't know the name of it there's conan interrupting me as per usual um the my mind's eye one i don't have the collection i just have those couple of papers there but yes i've used i'm using that in various ways on this layout but backing things is one of them so the bit at the bottom that strip there is from the Cartabella Let's Cruise and it was this paper that had four sort of three by twelve images on there of a cruise ship we'll pretend it's a ferry um in different places so there was like an icy one and a cityscape one and then there's this one where you can see like the ship going towards a bit of green and there's also a bit of green in the back and it really actually quite looks similar to when you're on the ferry to the Isle of Wight because obviously you can see the Isle of Wight from Southampton very very clearly when you're going on the Solent there and you can just it does look a bit like it if anyone's got the ferry they could yeah it does look a bit like it so my title which I'm doing right now so the song is some of you may have guessed already it's from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang it is in my opinion the greatest song from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang it is the one the granddad sings when he's like traveling in the air in his shed just you know the posh posh traveling life the traveling life for me I just love that song I just the granddad is the best character in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and I will not hear any arguments to the contrary he is the best so yeah that is my title and i'm using a mix of alphas for this those big white ones i used for o are from the works actually really nice like little puffy stickers actually i didn't think i'd like them that much when i first bought them but when i used them for this i was like oh no actually i quite like this um the little alphas are the uh, ones from page Evans and I every time I do this I forget the collection that it's from <laughs> pick me up that's it the little elfers I have zillions of these because I love them what I've used to write the navy posh is a simple stories 
a sort of sticker pack you know those sticker sheets they do where it's like half alphas and phrases and stuff like that it's from one of those but it's a really old one i have had it for years myself so i can't tell you what it is sorry and then the gold posh is uh dear lizzie thickers i think gold foam ones and you just saw there with the simple stories ones because i wanted to sort of alternate the alphas i didn't have another h to use so i've just sort of taken a b and edited edited it slightly to look like a h i mean when you look at the one h on the layout and the other one they don't actually match up but it doesn't really bother me that much so i've got most of my title down i kind of didn't fully stick it down i just sort of placed it in place and then went back over it really really gluing it down with some tacky glue and using my t-square to make sure everything was straight well straight ish it's not all perfectly straight but it will do what i did with my pictures as i was blabbing along is i backed them and i've used um just a random paper oh no that was uh, from posh actually the main paper i've backed them with like one big uh, six by four journaling card piece um distress the edges with some oxide in stormy sky i think and then i've stuck it down in a way that i can have this little journaling card um behind it so i can pull that out and write my journaling on it because i don't always do lots of journaling on my layouts but when it's pictures like this that kind of need an explanation i do add some journaling then so this sticker sheet i'm using is from that same cartabella let's cruise and i've also fussy cut some pieces from that my mind's eye paper like the little uh, just little nautical elements and ship's wheels and stuff this thing i'm cutting and placing down here that was from a cut apart sheet from let's cruise and it says meet you at the observation lounge and that was obviously appropriate because it, it's the same kind of thing so i wanted to use that bringing in a couple of ephemera elements from the Carpe Diem Posh, not too many because not actually many of them went with the whole thing I'm doing, but some of them did. So I'm doing various little element clusters. I used that globe from Posh because I thought that was quite nice and it brought in a little bit of gold because I'd put gold in the title and I didn't have much gold elsewhere. I just wanted to bring in a little bit here and there so that cluster there is on various uh, levels different levels of foam using little foam squares and rectangles and stuff as i said on different levels i just i think it was when i put down that meet you at the observation lounge it was just kind of floating on its own so i just had to put a couple of things there to balance it out and also what i'm going to do is with some of those bits i fussy cut i'm going to take some clear one inch circle epoxy stickers and put my little things i fussy cut behind those um just to make you know little epoxy sticker kind of things a lot of people do this all the time sort of making your own epoxy stickers and there we go i'm doing that there and they just add like a really nice little extra element or something you just get that you're looking at all the little bits on the layout and then you get that little bit of shine there i just think it's a nice little thing to add so i'm just working on those there um so i've caught up with myself finally it has finally happened so yes and it is true i was singing away to myself as i was doing this layout i won't sing at you don't worry i know people hate it when people sing at them but hopefully i've got that song in your head too if you don't know what the song is then well where have you been it's chitty chitty bang bang for goodness sake it's not actually my favorite musical by a long shot but that song and the other one um which again i don't want to sing it but you know the grow the roses of success that one just the best songs easily uh down here in the bottom left that cunard state line i'm probably saying that wrong that is from the chipboard stickers from prima saint tropez i just thought that was very appropriate again for this layout and i probably wouldn't have another opportunity to use it um so yes i just put that down there and added a few extra embellishments around it just to have a little cluster and then i'm going to add my journaling on this little journaling card here add some twine in there so you can pull it out i chose this really dark um sort of hempy twine because i thought it would look nice and nautical and then the date you can just see at the top and it's kind of obvious you need to pull it out and read what's on it i'm going to add some enamel dots here i honestly can't remember like the last time i used enamel dots i've been so obsessed with my nouveau drops and my dovecraft pearl effects that my actual proper enamel dots are getting quite neglected and these ones they are paper mania they were called denim something or other i'm not 100 percent sure because i have had them for a very very long time um but yes just adding little clusters of those and then finishing off with some splatters 
of Heidi in both navy and gold. Again, I wanted to add the navy because obviously there's a lot of navy on this layout. And then I wanted to add the gold because as I was saying about there being gold in the title, um, I just needed to bring in just a smidge more gold. So it wasn't just on its own kind of thing. And then there was gold on the globe. So that makes three, you know, your nice odd number of gold things. And I'm fairly sure that is the last thing I do. Is it? No. Yes. No, it is. <laughs> so thank you so, so much for watching. I, as, as I said, I hope I've got that song in your head because it's definitely got back in my head. I'm going to go and go do whatever I need to do and sing along to myself. So hopefully you are seeing some close ups now. Um, as ever, when I do like a stash layout or something like this, it's very hard for me to find links for you guys because most of the stuff is super, super old. But I will do what I can and find what I can. And if I can, it will be linked in the description box. Other than that, please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Chat to me in the comments. I am now going. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye.